where are you guys heading for now? What's uh, next on the Sweetheart's agenda? Well, I suppose a few things really. Um, we've got a few gigs coming up and this Friday we're playing at the Crown Palladium for the Education, Education Excellence Awards. Yep. And, uh, Very excited about that one. And then we're doing a tour, we're going out to the South Australian oh, border. Yeah. That was interesting time. last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like doing the country tours and um, so we're going out to areas where they don't get a lot of live music and also for the kids in programs at high school where they don't get a lot of support. So we're going out to Nil and Dimboola and Ararat, doing a uh -huh. tour through there in the last week of the school term. Right. You've also done some overseas work as well, though. you've played at the San Poetry Festival. Well, we've played at the Peretta Soul Music Festival, which is a number of times, and the Montre Jazz Festival a number of times. We've been to Europe three times. But uh, Melanie and Imogen, they've, um, they've played there in, what is it, 2007? Seven, yeah. They, they had some pretty good experiences they might want to share with you, particularly at Peretta, and the sort of artists they met and who they hung with. Yeah, it was, um, we were all front, front row up on um, the stage of Peretta and like it was just literally like a line of sweethearts who were getting into it and um, I actually um, got pulled up on stage and had a bit of a dance and yeah, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah, and the Italian streets did well. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah, <love> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they know they, they really got into some of the beats, especially Pupples of Rolling Stone, which was the first one we played today. They, you know, they were tapping their heels. They yeah, they, it. they have a Europe version of the clapping. Yeah, well, there's, yeah. there's, there's a bit of a Northern Soul scene in Peretta, yeah. and, the, and the mod scene is also around this same festival. It gets a fair bit of publicity on the on the soul websites and everything. It's amazing, like it's a showcase of all the best soul artists in the world. I mean, when we were there, there was the Booker T and MG, mm -hmm. Steve Cropper, Donald Duck Dan, and Wayne Jackson, the Memphis Horn. So it's just. It's just every time we go there, it's just amazing who's there. And they're all getting older, but gee, they can still play. Yeah. And um, the girls are part of it. They share the same stage and they're very educated audience. They're really into their soul music. And the amazing thing about this town, Peretta, they even name the streets and the parks after famous American soul artists. Like we played in Otis Redding Park, you know. <laughs> and Rufus Thomas is like a legend, you know. I don't think it's unfortunate really that Australia is located where it is because most of that stuff missed us in the 60s and 70s and it's only probably in the last 10 years that soul music started to have a bit of an influence in Australia as well with groups like the Bamboos and Carly Aldous and, and yourselves and Mochins. Yeah, and well, yeah, that's right. And um, some of our girls have gone through into Mochins and um, it's right, it's actually had a little bit of a resurgence, the new soul thing, and we, we, we've been sort of plugging away at it for about, well the band's in its 20th year now, but for about the last 10, 12 years we've just been doing soul music, so it wasn't like we came to it overnight, we've actually been working on it for quite a while. Like gets in your blood, you see. Once it's in there, you can't get it out. You know? Well, you know, it just feels so good when you play it too, you know, live. It's, you know, some of those songs, when it's, just gets a great groove and, and some of your lead vocalists perhaps put a fair bit of emotion, something into it. It's really special when you're doing it right. Well, look, I see it advertised on the um, internet as, in, as teen beat music as well as some music. So, And yeah. that was the audience that uh, the original Barry Gordy and Stax and Atlantic, that's who they directed this music out in the first place. And most of the performers were very young as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Stevie Wonder was only like 12 when he made his first record, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, Gil's told me all about it. He's got some great stories. In fact, Gil's taking our CD, our EP, uh, over to Los Angeles next week. He just rang me up the other day. He's going to take it to Barry Gordy because he's pretty excited by it. And, and he's going to get Barry to have a listen to it and say, well, you know, this is what's going on. The youth of today are still playing mm. some of this music. And I'm sure if Gil takes it to Barry, he'll listen to it as well. He's well, that's right, it's a pretty nice offer. So <laughs> we're pretty happy Gil's doing that, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it's great. And I'm so glad you was able to come in today for the launch of Radio Festival fortnight, as we call it now. And then hopefully we'll see you all again very, very soon. Yeah, you're and, and, and we'll try, and we're definitely keen to get a PBS benefit so you guys can all dress up and, and give us a whole show, you know, it'll be... Awesome. I yeah. really look forward to that. We'd love to do that.
um, Vince, and look, thanks very much for getting behind the girls and supporting us and having us in today. We've really had a great time. Thank you. Oh, no, it's been there. After hearing that CD another day, another night, which um, if you want, you just got to go to the Sweethearts website, www.sweethearts.com.au, and then you can purchase them on there. And it, it's just such a good CD. It really is. It stands. I reckon if Norman Whitfield was alive and he heard that, he'd buy a copy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's the best version of Papa was a Rolling Stone I've heard outside of Norman Whitfield. Without it, like, the arrangement production is fantastic. And I won't go on, I'll see you guys soon. Let's play another tune. Here we go. Hey.